Hey guys, the video that you're about to watch is an example of a lesson from our serving course that you can find at betteratbeach.com. In this video, we're going to break down the idea of serving aggressively or serving accurately. Obviously, you want both in your serving repertoire, but we do talk about the advantages of both. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit a little like button and hit that little bell to get notified when we come out with new content. The big question that we get a lot is what's more important when you're serving? Having a powerful serve or having an accurate serve? I don't know if there's a correct answer for any specific player because I think it has more to do with you finding the correct ratio or the correct balance for you as a player. For instance, myself and Mark are going to have different ratios depending on the type of player that we are. I will, however, say that for beginners, I believe that it is crucial to your development as a player to start with accuracy. You should be able to hit a spot on a court eight times out of 10 before you think about hitting the serve hard. As you progress in your game and as you become go from a beginner to an intermediate and an intermediate to an advanced player or an advanced player to a pro player, then you're going to realize what serves and what power to accuracy ratio is going to help you the most. There's a couple players that I think have really found their ratio and are using it to help them win points. The first person is Jeremy Casebeer. Jeremy Casebeer is known as a power player. When he goes back to serve, he is okay with missing serves because he wants to give himself the opportunity to score while hitting a jump serve. So if I had to say a ratio for Jeremy, I would say that he is probably, if we're taking it out of 100%, he is probably a 70% power, 30% accuracy. And obviously as the game goes on and as he figures out his, his point during a match, that might change a little bit. If he's having a great day, that power might go up to 80%. If he's having a day where he's missing a lot of serves, he might bump that down to 50 or 60%. But he does that in order to make himself the most valuable server that he can be. The next person that I thought about was Bill Kalinske. Bill Kalinske found the AVP and was able to find success very, very quickly. And the first thing that I've noticed about Bill is that he's not a flashy player. Hopefully he doesn't take offense to me saying that. But I would say that Bill focuses more on accuracy than he does power. It's very obvious that Bill is a very strategic player. He has conversations with his partner as he's walking back to serve almost every single time. And I think what he's doing is he's telling his partner, hey, I'm going to serve this because of this. A lot of times we don't see a lot of up and down serves, but for some reason, Bill has found a way to do this and find a lot of success. He has figured out a way to say, if I can put the ball two feet from the net and make that passer go up and make a pass and then get back and try to hit, that they're going to be in more trouble than if I hit this ball hard at them. So it's important for you to find your ratio and figure out, are you a more power player? Are you a more accurate player? But I think it is safe to say for everyone that if you start out thinking about accuracy and then start to move with power, then that's gonna give you the best scenario possible to make you the most valuable server that you can be. Please go to betteratbeach.com where you can check out the rest of our content. We have courses for serve receive, serving, attacking, setting, defense and blocking. All of these can be found within our memberships where we have a rookie membership that is perfect for beginners trying to learn the game. We have a rising star membership that will let you dive in deeper to all of these different skill types. And we have a main draw membership that includes everything and also gives you access to professional coaches and players.